Welcome back everyone. Today we'll recap a 2019 Filipino horror film named The Heiress. Luna is a sorceress who will stop at nothing to keep to herself her niece Gia. Kindly remember to like, comment, and subscribe if you like the video. At the beginning of the movie, we see a guy going on a bicycle when suddenly a lady comes in front of him due to which he falls into a ditch. When he regains consciousness, his leg hurts a lot. He starts screaming for help and then sees a ghost there chanting some spells. The boy starts running away fearing it and only then does the ghost come after him, due to which he gets very scared. After going further, he falls and insects start coming out of his wound, which causes him a lot of pain. He tries to leave from there but then his leg rises in the air and breaks and then someone drags him away. After this, someone burns his photo and a voodoo doll in the fire. Next, we see a lady named Luna making hair of her niece Gia. She asks her to promise that she will not trust anyone, no matter how nice they are, and make sure to come home immediately after school. Gia tells her that they should get the mirror fixed as their faces look scary with those cracks. Now everyone in the school makes fun of Gia's old-fashioned clothes and some boys bump into her. Just then a boy named Razak comes to help her and Gia takes her phone and leaves from there. Here in the house, Luna is watching something by uprooting a plant when we see a ghost behind her, which Luna also notices but ignores. Then she is doing some work in the house when Yali comes there and asks her to pay the rent of the house. Luna says that she does not have money, on which Yali tells her something that makes her angry and an insect starts troubling Yali. Luna pulls her hair and Yali gets scared and leaves from there. Then after she leaves, Luna starts chanting some spells, and we see that her eyes have become completely black. Here on the way, the tire of Yali's car gets punctured and her driver goes to get water. Then she notices a hand in the car but there is no one behind. And suddenly that hand grabs her and we see that ghost there. Yali gets scared and comes out of the car after which her stomach starts hurting and she vomits some black liquid. And then sees a ghost in the mirror. Her condition starts getting worse and her tongue comes out, and she dies by cutting her own tongue. Here Gia tells Luna that she had talked to her mother and she said that she will come home soon. After this, Luna is going upstairs with something when an unseen force attacks her, which frightens her. A page of a calendar then comes up there with the date of Gia's 18th birthday written on it and it catches fire. Then we see that ghost moving towards her and goes away after caressing her hair. Now a few days later, Carmen comes there, but Luna was not looking happy at all. Here Gia is in the washroom of the school when something drips on her and when she looks up she sees a Satan sign. She sees that ghost inside the bathroom and when she goes near it, the door closes. Then a lot of black liquid comes out from that sign and falls on her. But when some other girls come there, nothing was on her and they start making fun of her. Then she comes home where she meets her mother. Her mother explains to her that there were many problems in Barcelona. So she could not come to meet her for a long time but now they will live together in their own house. Now at night when Carmen is sleeping, someone pulls her blanket. Carmen notices it but ignores it and then she gets scared when a photo falls. She hears some noise from outside which she comes out to check, and she notices that the sound of scratching is coming from Gia's room. Then there is a bang at the door which scares her. Then she sees that Gia is scratching the wall and making a sign of the devil, who suddenly turns into a ghost but it was just a nightmare. Now the next day when Carmen tells Luna that she will now be at her own house with Gia, Luna says that Gia still needs her protection. Here Gia is in school when she sees Luna over there who suddenly disappears. Then after a while, she gets a call from Carmen and she asks her if Luna had got out of the house. To which she says no. Now the next day Carmen takes Gia with her to the mall where she gets her a new hairstyle done which is very much liked by both of them. Then Carmen notices a mark on her neck but she thinks it is an allergy due to the hair treatment. They then go to a restaurant to have dinner when Gia notices that everyone in the restaurant is looking at her. She starts feeling dizzy but after a while becomes normal. Then she goes to the washroom where suddenly the lights start flickering and then it gets dark. Here she sees Luna who turns into a ghost and then the devil sign is made in the mirror. Due to which she comes out in fear. Outside, Carmen asks her what happened but she is unable to tell anything. On the other hand, Renz reaches Gia's home with a gift where he meets Luna. Luna asks him if he is planning to court Gia. He then suddenly starts to feel dizzy and Luna threatens and warns him to stay away from Gia. After which he faints. When he wakes up, he finds himself in his car. And only then does Luna come there and asks him why he is parked in front of her house since this afternoon. Rents apologizes to her and says that he thinks he fell asleep in her house. 
but she says that she does not know who he is and she does not allow strangers in her house. Later when he is going home, his car stops with a loud sound, and when he comes out to check, he sees that Ghost and nearly escapes an accident. Now Carmen and Gear return home where they find Looney who gets very angry seeing her haircut. She says that she looks like a boy and asks her to change her clothes. That night the door of their room opens on its own and we see that Ghost there, and Carmen notices that Gia is not on the bed. She sees someone's footsteps there and follows them and comes to Gia's room where Gia is sleeping. Then she comes back out where she sees someone and thinks she is Luna so she starts following her. She goes to her room where seeing a shadow. She gets scared and falls down the stairs. Then she sees the ghost there which comes to her and suddenly disappears. Later she tells Luna about this and says that they need to move out of the house. But Luna says that this is just her imagination. After some time Luna is hiding a key and Carmen sees her doing so. Then she goes to that room and starts clicking photos of the things kept there. She also sees the devil sign there, behind which there were photos of Gia. Seeing this, she panics and brings that frame with her. Now a flashback is shown in which Luna and Carmen are young and Luna tells that her boyfriend has cheated on her. She says that she will have her revenge. Then she sees that Luna joins a Satanist cult and the guy who died at the beginning of the movie was the one who cheated on Luna. The next day, Carmen meets a man named Apodigos and tells him that she is the grandchild of M and K Buzz. She tells him about Luna to which he says that he knows her. He was there when she was branded. Carmen tells that when she went to work abroad, she left her daughter in Luna's care. She fears that she will influence her daughter to join Coven. She asks him for his help to which Apodigo says that he can put an end to Luna's powers if she has not been taken by a Mamlaring. Mamlaring is a powerful black entity that manipulates sorcerers. It can take any form or use any sorcerer who is willing to embrace it. On the other hand, Everyone in the school was surprised to see Gia's new look. Rince takes her to the mall and they are having fun when he meets a girl there and Gia feels bad seeing him talking to her. She goes and sits down at a place where she sees Luna on the screen who scolds her saying that she told her not to trust anyone. Carmen comes home and is packing Gia's stuff when Luna comes over and they start an argument. Carmen tells her to spare her and her daughter from all this but Luna says that Gia is hers. As she is the one who raised her, she is her mother. Now Carmen comes back to her room and starts calling Gia but then her phone drops. Then she hears chanting and sees the devil sign on the wall. She starts having severe pain in her stomach and we see Luna doing black magic. Then the blood starts coming out of her mouth and Luna breaks her hands. And during this time she sees that ghost in front of her. Luna badly breaks her body and Carmen dies shortly after. Hirons explains to Gia that the girl was his ex-girlfriend and then suddenly Carmen comes in front of their car. Gia comes out but no one is there and that's when her phone rings. Luna tells her that her mother is dead which she gets shocked to hear. Then a scene of Carmen's funeral is shown where Luna tells Gia that she will always be with her. Now a few days later, Gia's bracelet is not found and while searching for it, she finds her mother's phone under the bed and she starts crying missing her. Then after some time, she gets a call from a Podigos who tells her that he needs to talk to her before it's too late. Now Gia goes to meet him with Rens and Apodigos tells her that her mother wanted her to leave the house and never see Luna again. If she didn't do this, she would get something that her mother didn't want her to have. Gia could not understand his words. Now Apodigos tells her that Luna wants her to be like her. He warns her not to let her use her and do not to go back to Mape. He gives her a book to read to learn everything about sorcery. Only then she will understand what her mother wants. He then gives her holy oil that will ward off the sorcerer's power. After this, Gia goes back home where she enters the secret room and finds black magic items in which one of the voodoo dolls has her mother's photo and the other doll has her bracelet given to her by Rens. Just then Luna comes there and Gia runs away, but downstairs she finds Luna again and Gia says that she has killed her mother. Just then, ghostly chatting starts reverberating throughout the house and another Luna comes there, and the real Luna takes out Gia's doll and throws her away. Now on Luna merges into another and turns into that ghost. Then she tries to possess Gia but before she can do so, Gia pours holy oil on her which causes her face to burn badly. But it gets fixed after some time. Now when Gia starts leaving, Luna begins controlling her with her voodoo doll and she tells that no one will be able to hurt her if she joins them. Gia tries to fight her but Luna throws her away. Just then, Gia takes out Luna's voodoo doll, wraps a bottle of holy oil on it, and breaks it causing Luna to burn badly and die after falling down the stairs outside the house. After this, Gia burns the box of that voodoo doll, but while leaving, she hears the chanting of that ghost, 
and in the same fire she sees that ghost. And the movie ends here. Thanks for watching.